Well, today was the first time I ever filled up my boat all the way with gas. And that's because we're going to the Farallon Islands. So we're starting the morning off here in the San Francisco Bay. It's pitch black out. The sun's actually not rising for about two hours. Uh, let me show you how we navigate in the dark here on my charts. So I think it's pretty obvious to say that it is more dangerous to drive your boat you know, in the dark. We're using our electronics to navigate. So on the left side, that's our map. Uh, and that shows our previous trips, all those pink lines. I'm kind of zoomed in a little bit right now. But yeah, those are our previous paths. So we're going to stay over that. Um, and then that white line, that's like a shipping channel for bigger boats, you know, the container ships or whatnot. No reason for us to be in that. You can see we're in 44 feet of water. And uh, now over on the right side, that's our radar. And we're looking for basically objects to appear on there. They'll, they'll come in the form of like dots, white dots. Um, that's going to let us know that there's an object in the water. And obviously we're going to want to avoid that. And that white line from center going to the top, that's the direction we're going. So let me zoom out now and you can kind of see the objects appear. You can see the land. And then those two dots in front of us, those are buoys. And you can also match those buoys up with our map on the other side. So yeah, we just move away from those because uh, now yeah, we see them coming. So I met two friends underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, you know, in their own boats, and we we're going to follow them out. This is something I would never do alone as the only boat. But wait, when you got two other boats with you that you're going out with and you have them right next to you on the radio, it lets you feel a little bit more comfortable. It's hard when it's dark out because you don't know what's coming. You know, when you, the light's out, you can see the wave, you anticipate it. No, now you're just just driving boom boom oh god it was, it was pretty awful but yeah you know following these boats a little bit bigger than me gotta keep up with them and uh we got four feet 12 seconds you know five ten mile power wind so conditions are pretty good again it's just not being able to see what's coming it's what gets you well what's going on everyone thanks for checking out another of my videos so we'll start off with i forgot my hat at home that's because I haven't been out fishing for weeks and I guess my routine was thrown off. So I think this is like my first video without a hat on. We'll make through. <laughs> and I got Eric with me. What are we doing today? We're doing uh, sand dabs and link cod rockfish. Right, so we're starting off with sand dabs right now and we're heading out to the Farallon Islands. But right now we're about, I don't know, at least 20 miles out. We uh, followed out Oleg and his friend, so family fish killer. What's up guys? Yeah, so make sure you guys check out his channel if you haven't done yet. He makes a lot of trips out here. This is my first time taking my boat out here. I've only actually been to the islands one time. That was on a party boat. So really looking forward to uh, going, you know, on my own boat, Farallon Islands. Lots of fish, big fish. That's the whole idea here. So yeah, I'm uh, going to get some sand dabs first. We'll use those for bait. So speaky rig. Got tipped with some squid. And yeah, been out doing, I uh, was at a wedding, Arizona, good friend, Mike. Uh, he's been on the boat a few times. He actually has the biggest halibut I've ever seen on this boat, 38 incher, put a picture there for you guys to see. And I uh, went to the Vegas, played a little World Series of Poker. It's one of my uh, hobbies, swells fishing. Don't do that as much anymore, but felt good to get out there. Hey, got a cash and tournament, felt good. So yeah, let's uh, get some sand dabs. I don't even know how deep the water is here, probably a few hundred feet. Feels good to be back out though. All right, link cod, rockfish, here we come. So we're not finding the sand dab. We're in our second spot. I mean, we're trying for like five minutes, then we left the first one. You know, it's three boats. Um, I got one little one here. But I'm no sand dab expert, but if you, you know, do they have days they bite and don't bite, or are they just not in the area? That's my guess. They're probably just not here. Well, three boats here, and we got two sand dabs between the three boats in, I don't know, 10 minutes. Uh, you know, we got tons of lures on the boat from Pitbull Tackle. We got frozen squid, so no doubt we'll still get some, uh, you know, lots of action over there with that kind of stuff for the rockfish link cod. So let's not waste any more time catching bait, and let's go get some fish. Just arrived at the fishing grounds, Fairlawn Islands. I don't know, is it worth it? I guess we'll find out here soon. Two and a half hours to get to the fishing spot. I mean, it's like three hours. I'm not even counting the time for, uh, you know, the sand dab fish that we wasted there. But yeah, it's been three hours since we left the Golden Gate Bridge. Two and a half hours to get here. 
All right, let's see what we're putting on. I think I want to go with something like guaranteed right away with that sand dab. I need to feel a fish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the sand dab on this. We call it like a popcorn shrimp fly thing. We got a piece of squid on the top one. And we'll go sand dab. Ah! Like so. Bam, let's set that down. All right, well, we got our first fish on. Doesn't feel too big, but it's 16 ounce weight. So it's a, a lot to reel up. All right, here we go. An olive. All right, trying to get this camera out of the rain. Let's see what we can do here. Glow in the dark, 16 ounce Pitbull Tackle Bora Jig. Oh man, that'll be so much fun to get a big link called to bite this right now. What do you guys think? Is it gonna happen? Maybe we'll get teased with an olive first or something. Put a little piece of squid on the end of the skirt hook there. Looking for a fish we can gaff here. Isn't that right, Eric? All right, we need it. he was working with over there. How's it feeling? Oh, no. Get off? Oh, oh you got a hitchhiker. What does that mean? You had a big ling that was a bit onto this and it let go. You see its face all demolished? Told you guys we'd be switching things out quick today. So we're gonna try this now. Uh, Pitbull tackle, swim bait. I don't know, that's like seven, inch, seven or eight inches, something like that, big one. And then like, we'll got a little teaser up top, piece of squid on it. Link cod, rockfish, one or the other. Oh, nice. That's a good catch. Yeah. Oh, it's not a verm, I think it's a starry. Yeah. All those white dots. Hold that. I think that's really big for those. Really? Yeah. Oh, this one feels heavier. That shakes for sure. Nice. Yeah, it's really getting harder and harder to reel out. Well, Eric says maybe a ling. Let's go get that gaff. Yeah, it's definitely ling. Definitely ling. Definitely. You want a guarantee on the box? I'll give you a guarantee on the box. Uh, I'm saying it's not. I hope it's not like a baby. Hopefully, uh, oh, bring it in. If two on there. Look at that. Oh, no, come on. Let's bring, real, real, real. Dude, look at that vermilion. Oh my god. Dude. Wow, it's my PB. Look at that. That is nice. <laughs> you guys see that? I mean, look at that pit bull tackle lure. Got two of them. I mean, you're supposed to catch one fish on this, folks, not two. I mean, look at that vermilion. Holy cow, Eric. Those are the new drop shots. Jeez. Nice. <laughs> So see this skirt attachment? I'm gonna show you these right here in a second. Yeah, buddy, we got some rockfish. No Eric added that on there. That didn't come stock on the lure. Let me show you. 
So here's all my Pitbull tackle gear. A lot of different lures. These all work really well out here. The Bora is one of the most popular. The Deadfall. This one's pretty good size. Might throw that on. And of course, you know, we got the swim baits. Beautiful looking heads there. And there's the baits. And this is what I wanted to show you new from Pitbull Tackle. So they have these attachments. You can put these on any basically jigs. They have a split ring and you add that onto it. Different sizes and colors. So that's what Eric threw on when he just caught those two big rockfish, the Verm and the Starry. Well, there's another one. So see, he added it to that again right there. So you can add that to any of these baits. This one, um, you know, this guy right here, that's kind of what Eric did. Pitbull Tackle wanted to help you guys out. And uh, if you guys use the code crispy10 on their website, you'll get 10% off your orders. They have these great bags that I use, um, pliers, knives, great fishing accessories, and they make a great holiday gift, stocking stuffers or whatnot. And that'll be good till the end of the year. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Eric's getting two fish at once, big firms. Here I go. I'm going back to the Bora. Has that attachment there we want to use. We can get rockfish or link cod with this. 16 ounce, you know, because it's 240 feet of water, we got to use that. But ideally, I love the four and six ounce, you know, and 80 feet of water, roughly. Something I feel a little better about, I think. I mean, I think all I've gotten today is olives. Something else. I wanted olives. Go to the Olive Garden. That was a pretty bad joke. Oh, nice. Some pretty colors there, huh? Couldn't even reel him up fast enough to make his eyes bulge. It's hard reeling up 250 feet of 16 ounces. That's why Oleg, who I'm out here with, uses an electric reel sometimes. Near Bora Bora? Yeah, big Bora Bora. Go ahead and throw that guy in the box. I don't want to go for a ling. Oh. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, caught on the way down. Oh, yeah. Ling? I think so. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. Pretty sure this guy bit the 16 ouncer on the free fall. Where is uh, the gap? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice vermilion. Oh, man. Are you kidding me, guys? This thing bit it on the fall. I mean, maybe. How, how deep? I don't know. Pretty deep. Wow. That is a beautiful fish. Well, bigger than mine? No, I don't think so. But this is why you come to the Farallons, huh? Oh yeah. Jeez. A nice looking fish. Oh yeah, I feel super heavy. Should I get the gap? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> After what we've been seeing, I think it's just another big verm. I'll take another big verm. 
a, something big though. Too small, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it was borderline. Fuck. Alright, here's mine. I got two. Yeah? I did what Eric did, but not quite as nice a fish. <laughs> so the limit's 10 rockfish a person. We haven't counted yet, but I think we're about 15, 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the cooler and give them a count and see me where we can get. I haven't told you yet, but we gotta get back today. We gotta leave here around 12, the latest. It's Halloween and we got little kids. We promised our wives we'd be home by three, no later. And you saw how long, or we told you how long it took to get out here, hours, like two, three hours. So yeah, we leave at noon. We should be back to land between two and three o'clock and get our kids out trick-or-treating. All right, let's see how many fish we got so far. Three, 15, and 16. So we can get four more. Plus Link off, we can get some in the boat. <laughs> Just the weight. Yeah. I'm gonna bring it in, number 18. Oh! Just got it. Number 18 stayed in the boat. Number 19. Number 20. Well, number 20. Congrats, Eric. Got our rockfish limits. <laughs> Thanks to uh, Pipple Tackle supplying us these lures today. And man, they work good. As I said earlier, I love the Bora. And hey, guys, I recommend no matter what jig you use, buy these things, the hot drops. Uh, yeah, can never have too many of these. You lose them out here in different colors, sizes. So great day out here. Take a look at these fish. We got our two prized worms. Where are they? Where's mine? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> look at those. Let's measure them. I mean, look. 20 inches or something. 18 and a half. Nineteen. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Crab season starting. I'm excited. Get those Dungeness and some more rock fishing link caught action. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, well, we're gonna head in. Thanks for letting us follow you. All right, see you next time. Show the camera. Yeah, these baits are on fire. These little drop shot squids. Is that what they're called? Drop shot? Hot drop. Yeah, these hot drops look, work pretty good.